Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundu and today we have another Shop My Stash or Weekly Basket, bi-weekly make makeup basket, where I go through all the makeup I've worn for the past two weeks, show you some looks that I've done, taken photos of, and then we go over and pick some new makeup in the drawers. And so let's get right into it. I did have um, one night away. I did the same thing I did last time I went away and I forgot to bring eyeshadow brushes um, or just enough brushes. I didn't bring a powder brush, like just... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, let's just get into it. So, like, I didn't I didn't use as much eyeshadow as I thought I was. Um, I think I've just been so busy lately. I just, I just haven't had the time. My life is a bit hectic at the moment. So I had two primers. I wore both. I had the Milani Prime Perfection. I think I used this twice. Um, I took this one away with me. Um, it kind of feels like a sunscreen when you're putting it on. It's really strange. Um, but I do like it. It's a nice uh, primer. The Revlon Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing. I like this one. It is smoothing. Um, yeah, I really like it. And my foundations. This is my Hourglass Illusion, one of my favorite foundations. I have the shade Shell. Um, and this is a really good match for me. I also have Ivory for Summertime. It's more yellow, a bit, bit darker. Um, but this one's really good for winter, which I am currently in winter at the moment. So I absolutely love this. Wore this quite a few times and then my Charlotte Tilbury beautiful skin foundation I think I wore this once um, not because I didn't want to just just didn't happen um, I sometimes I just wear sunscreen with a little with a few de bronzy drunk elephant drops sometimes I don't even wear foundation um, but I do like this I find it a little bit on the yellow side for something that's supposed to be neutral but still good to uh, Concealers. I took this one away with me because it's nice and small. Uh, this is the Tom Ford Emotion Proof Concealer. It's it's all right. It's all right. Um, I think it does the job, but it's not incredible. So I wouldn't recommend buying it. I think it was like eighty dollars or something. And then this is the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. I have the shade Fair Warm, um, and I really like this for just easy everyday kind of natural days. Let's go some cream. I have three cream products, that's right. Um, I have the Barry M Fresh Face Lip and Cheek, Cheek and Lip Tint in Deep Rose. I love this. It's a really nice rusty rose um, to give you that kind of sunburnt cheek effect and it's really nice on the lips too. I really, really like this product. Um, same with this cheek and lip tint from Emco Beauty, the Australian brand, and the shade Tango. I want all of them. <laughs> I really, really love this product too. I really love these kind of lip and cheek because I do utilize for both lip and cheek. I like a monochromatic look. Milk Makeup um, in the shade Baked, the MAC Bronzer. I took this away with me, so I use this at least twice. And then we have some powders. I didn't use this at all. Mo because it's a finishing powder and I was doing really light makeup. Do I keep it in? I might keep it in. Uh, this is the Mineral Finishing Veil. It's a loose finishing powder. Um, I just didn't have the occasion where I wanted to wear this. So I might keep this one in. My translucent powder is great from Ulta 3 Second Skin. I use this mm, a couple of times. I didn't use it a lot. Um, because it's basically the same thing as my Project Pan um, powder, which I also used, so I didn't use it every time. And then my other powder products, I have my Kylie Blush in Winter Kissed. I think I used this once, really nice, just didn't have the occasion. I think I wore more cream, cream blushes. My NYX Sweet Cheeks, I don't think I used this once. I don't think I used it once. I am going to do a makeup look after this. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show the picture. So then technically I have used it and I really, because I really wanted to use this. So I'm going to put this aside to use after this video. Um, and then my glowish bronzer. I have the shade light and it's just a really nice, natural, beautiful bronzer. So I really like that too. My face palette is the Kaleidos. Wait, no. I took this away with me, but it was not in my shop mustache. Okay, lip products. I have five lip products. 
I kept this in to use it and I didn't use it so I've got to put it back I've got to put it back not because it's, it's just I didn't find the time to wear it it's so annoying um because I, I haven't worn much makeup I've just been wearing the lip gloss or the lip balm that's in my bag um so I don't really have an excuse there um this is the elf seriously satin lipstick insider I didn't use this either this is one of my favorite lip products <laughs> Sydney Grace lip cream in Bailey really nice cool tone lip cream I did wear this this is the elf lip lacquer in love bite this is new to me and I love it um I didn't even wear this is one of my other favorite lip products can you believe it Kaleidos lip clay in the shade bear didn't use it love it and then I did use this, but I'm going to declutter it. This is the RMS lipstick in Rapture. Now, this is one of my favorite lipsticks, but it is off. I actually did wear it, and then I was like, okay, I'm not going to wear it again. It smells, and the actual texture has gone really rough and sticky and thick. So it's just not wearable anymore. It's such a shame. It's my perfect brick red. So I'm going to take all the product out and terracycle it. So the Urban Decay Naked Cyber, I think I used this once. Um, I don't remember the look I did, but I will show you a picture. <laughs> I really like this palette. I did wish I used it more. Um, oh, my singles, my RMS highlights. I wore this at least once, the shade Blaze. I took it away with me. Um, and then I also took these two away with me. I wore this at night time. I love wearing these two together. This is the Hourglass Shattered, Scattered Light in Burnish. So that's really orange copper. When I mix it with the Charlotte Tilbury Ice to Mesmerize Oyster Pearl, it's perfect. I put this underneath because it's a cream mousse and then I put the Scattered Light over the top and it's like one of my favorite like going out eye looks. Um, the Natasha Denona Glam Face. Now I didn't use the eyeshadows because I forgot eyeshadow brushes. I had planned, I put this in because I was wanted to wear this going out, but I didn't because I forgot eyeshadow brushes oh, again. I did use this and I did use this and I love, I actually think this is my favorite part of the palette. And then um, the Bo Bella Cosmetics Shades of Roses. Really pretty, I only used this once though and I did a very, neutral look I did one two three I think but I really liked it I definitely um would like to bring it again in again actually I might use it in my look today because I'm going to be using orange and I'll try and yeah I think I might actually use this and I'll put a picture up um and show you what look I did so let's put everything back and we're going to pick some new makeup all right, let's have a look at primers just here. I think I want to use this one. I haven't used this in a while from OXX Bloom Serum Primer. It's just a nice hydrating primer. It feels like water. I might get a blurry. Let's get this Laura Mercier blurring primer. And then with powder, I'm just going to pick a pressed powder because I'm keeping the finishing powder. So I think I want to put in the MAC while I'm still super pale, because this is quite a fair shade. This is the Studio Fix Powder Plus in NW15. Okay, so we have full coverage foundation, light to medium um, concealer, and then face palette. So let's go with our foundations first. That's a contender. I'm gonna put in this um, Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Tint. I have the shade 125, which is a really nice neutral fair shade. So that's that one there. This is actually a full coverage that I haven't worn. This is the shade Alabaster. This is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish. This is not the new one. I want to get the new one, but I haven't tried this, so I'm going to put this in. And that is the shade there. You can really tell that it's got a lot more coverage. Okay, concealer. I think I want to put in one that I'm working on. I really want to finish a couple. So I might put those two in that I'm trying to work on. This is the By Terry 
Stylo Expert Click Stick, and I absolutely love it. It's a shade one, but I have no idea how far I have until I finish it because you can't click it down. And then the Flower Beauty Light Illusion in the shade Fair. Okay, face palette. I don't even know what I want. I do love that one. So this is the Kevin Aquan Jewel Pop, and this is the BH Belgian Waffle. Um, I think I'm going to do this one. I do love this one. We've got the Sculpting Medium Contour Powder, but it's a bronzer for me. Um, beautiful blush, and then I really like these three eyeshadows. Like, I love them. So let's do that one. Okay, let's start with cream products. I think I want... I think I want this one. This is the By Terry CC Serum Blush. Um, I am working on it. I'm probably used about a third, which is pretty good considering all the makeup I have. Um, and I really enjoy it, so I want to use that. Um, so I've got something that's real pinky. So that is the CC Serum. It's actually a lot more warmer than I thought. It's a bit too bright. So that's the By Terry CC Serum. And then this here is the Chantecaille. I'm just considering to put it in, but I think it's quite different. The Cheek Gelée in Vibrant. So I might do that. I'll get one bronzer. That's a bronzer. That might be good actually. I think I would like to put that one in. Or do I want my Emco Beauty? I might put my Emco Beauty in one actually. I think I had this in not long ago, but I'd like to put it in again. Instant Contour Beauty Wanding Light Medium. Um, it's actually quite translucent um, when you blend it out. Um, okay, so powder. Oh, do I want to put that in? I had that in not long ago, actually. I could put in this one. Maybe I'll do the actual Charlotte Tilbury one. I haven't done that one in a while. The Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. I have the shade Spotlight. Yeah, let's do that. And then powder products. I wanted to bring this in one last time in winter because uh, it's very light. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the Fair Shade. Um, I really love the formula, but it is just so fair. I have to like really build it up. I might do it again later, just depends how my skin is. Let's go highlighter. Oh, Pink Moon. Yes, let's go Melt Pink Moon. I love this and I haven't worn it in a while. Or is it gonna be too dark? Because I'm very fair at the moment. Maybe not. I might hold off until I'm a teensy bit darker. So this is a nice one for now. Let's go Kylie in Ice Me Out. I like that it's got a yellow tone, but it's still fair. Um, so let's do that one. And then blush. I have one blush in the face palette and it's super like nice and neutral, but it's like a rosy neutral. I actually haven't put this one in before. This is new to me, Revlon Naughty Nude. Oh, I put that over the highlighter. That's okay. It's just a nice, warm, everyday kind of blush. I think I'm going to pick one more. You know what? I haven't done this one in so long. Yeah, let's do this one. Vive in Pesca. I think I have a really nice range of blushes. Okay, so here are my single shadows, um, just here. I might even, uh, I'm gonna put, I think I might put this one in. The OXX Studio, the Australian Kmart brand. This is the shade Rose, I think. Yeah, um, and it's double-ended. So we have the matte side and the shimmery side. It's basically just like the dupe for the Huda Beauty ones. 
pick one of these. I do prefer is it brass. This is the Ultra 3 Master Metals. I don't think these are available anymore. I think they discontinued them. Um, they're really good single eyeshadows. It does get um, more intense than that. There we go. That's just really nice. So that's two. I'm gonna go for one more because I'm a single, single shadow kind of gal. We'll pick one of these. Okay. Praline. No. Um, I want the caramel. Caramel from Revlon Color Stay, the caramel shade. I love it. I think that's a really nice range for me. I do tend to wear neutral or warm. I'm not a huge cool tone fan. All right, lippy sticky. Lippy sticky, what do I want? I usually pick too many lipsticks, so let's go this way, I think. I haven't used this in a while, all that. I think I'm gonna go NARS. Velvet Lip Glide in Swing. It's kind of like those blotted lips, the velvet blotted lips. Do I want that? Claire, that's nice and warm. This is from Sydney Grace, the other one I didn't wear. This is like the warm, the other one's super cool. Yeah, let's do that. And I'll go to liquid lipstick. What about Stilla? Let's go Stilla in Besso. But back to work from maternity, being on maternity leave next week. And we stock this product at work so I can wear this at work. Yeah, let's do that. How lovely. I put that one down, didn't I? And then let's put the lipstick. And a lip gloss. So let's go lip gloss first. I haven't worn that in a long time. Let's go Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I have the shade, I think it's Sun. Yeah, it's from their bronzed collection. But it's basically the lightest, most clearest one with a little bit of glitter. It's very pretty. I forget I have this. And then one lipstick. What's it gonna be? Maybe a NARS. Tour de Jour. Although Tour de Jour is very similar. Ooh, it's a very cool tone to see. If I was going to go cool tone, I only need one option. What about She App? She App could be fun. What's that She App? How about that? I try to motivate myself to wear more bright lipstick because I love it and I forget sometimes. All right, let's do those five. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, lastly is eyeshadow. So, oh gosh. I've been feeling a bit uninspired with eyeshadow lately. I really am, if I'm honest. I just haven't been into it, which is such a shame because I... Love eyeshadow. So maybe I'll go with a, a uh, one of my faves. Maybe I'll go my Huda Naughty. Just to make, you know, me re-inspired. And I do love this. So let's put that in. Um, I actually want to put in this Mecca Max Mini Mix. In the shade, what's it called? Disco Friends. Maybe something super warm toned. Just to even it out. Maybe this one. Yeah, let's do this one. This is the ColourPop Sandstone. Um, and it's really nice and warm. Just for options. Okay, let's do those. Alright, let's start with the little one. Three shimmers and a matte. 
Let's go naughty next. All shimmers. And those are all mattes. And then lastly, the sandstone palette. I tell you what, Colourpop knows how to do a shimmer. These mattes have the glitter in them, which a lot of people don't like, but I quite like it because I love shimmer anyway. And those last four are mattes. See how you can see, I think it's so pretty, but I can understand why people don't like it because if you want a matte, you want a matte. This palette has a lot of the glitter in the mattes. Okay, so that is everything that I've picked. Let me know your thoughts. Pretty happy with the selection. We've got a selection of drugstore, luxury, high-end, a bit of everything. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.